Hey everyone, my name is Yvonne Villarreal and I'm a reporter here at the Los Angeles Times. And joining us today is Gael Garcia Bernal. Thanks Hello. for joining us. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> he stars in Amazon's Mozart of the Jungle, which it sort of gives us the inner workings of a New York uh, orchestra. Mm -hmm. And you play the conductor, Rodrigo. Yes. Um, you know, it's it's sort of bittersweet to have you today, given the news of, of this morning about Prince's death. And, you know, given how the show really celebrates music and, and all the power that it has with, with people. Uh, why don't you talk about your thoughts on, on the passing of Prince? Were you a big fan? Yeah, well, I mean, no, I, I think I, I tweeted something about, about how, how now with music or with literature, I mean, we just wake up every day uh, fully content in some way and trying to touch it and then we hear new news of people yeah. dying of course and mm -hmm. I mean post-war uh, culture in mm -hmm. a way is, is uh, the pillars of that yeah. culture are kind of yeah slowly uh, dying and, yeah. and and that is I mean it's part of life mm -hmm. of course and but but we're I mean they have so much to do with us and and yes Prince absolutely I mean the in the in the 80s, I mean, early 90s, I mean, I remember very closely uh, his songs coming up and, and it wasn't like like the way that they do now. I mean, it was in a different way. You would hear the song once and you wouldn't possibly not hear it again until you ran into another radio station right, right. that somebody was playing it. I mean, when you were a little kid, you know, you, you don't know where to find it, right. you don't know how to. So I would remember like, uh, uh, yeah, the 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 movie uh, Purple Rain. Purple Rain. Uh, I, I remember I couldn't watch it because it was a bit like it's a little for, yeah exactly. yeah risque. Yeah yeah exactly. Uh -huh. It was for older people. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but as a kid, I remember like yeah incorporating like okay, who's that guy who kind of you know yeah. is is very flamboyant yeah. and very and in a way like like Rodrigo like the, mm -hmm. the character. I mean he's like very out there and 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 I, I, his attitude was was a very interesting one because it wasn't. It wasn't um, a extremely kind of uh, how do you say serious mm -hmm. about the 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 coming the the, the coming out the the, the expression yeah. the the you know he was he was playing a game and he was actually putting that forward mm -hmm. you know he was it was dance it was make believe it was a game mm -hmm. and and that's that's very appreciated I mean that it's yeah. not taken that seriously because that, because it can be very serious but right. if you auto define it from the beginning self define it you know it's mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you, you 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 hit a brick wall mm -hmm. in a way so yes it's a, it's a shame that he passed away i mean very young as well very young yeah i think 57 um has do you find that doing this show has sort of made you more in tune with music or like made you think about it differently yes. even when you hear it do you is it sort of heightened now, like the notes and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah in, a, in, a <laughs> in a kind of uh, surprising way, even yeah. even uh, in a cliched kind of way. I mean, now I, I I listen to whenever I listen to classical music, uh, modern classical music, or from whatever time, I know where the instruments are. I know mm -hmm. where it's coming from in a way, and and in a way, I I suspect and I build myself uh, a story behind it. Uh, of how, why, what, what's the game, what, what's the, the search here and there, you know? And of course, I do it with my, my with whatever whatever parameters I have, uh -huh. um, which are very incredibly super, uber basic. Mm -hmm. You know, I, mean, I have no idea what, <laughs> yeah. I mean, people study this forever and, and, and but I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's what's interesting about music is that it is not like a common language as such. It is basically everybody makes a story behind mm -hmm. mu music. Everybody has something to to invent mm -hmm. uh, behind what they're listening, and that's what that's, that's what's incredible, and that's what the power mm -hmm. of music is. I mean, it's a it a very powerful song, you know, mm -hmm. three minute, uh, incredibly good pop song means something different for each and every one of right. us. I mean, right. and, that, and that's incredible. That's that's what's I don't know so powerful about mm -hmm. it. Did you find that you started downloading more classical music once you took on the role? Like, is your phone or your... Yeah, well, no, 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 not actually downloading it, but YouTube is a great idea. YouTube. I mean, great, great tool for watching mm -hmm. uh, music from, from ever. I mean, mm -hmm. you can see recordings of Strauss, for example, uh, all the old recordings, you know, and, and Stravinsky, and mm -hmm. I mean, 
and at the same time you can be up to date with what's going on with uh, with modern classical music i mean it's uh, somebody in the the world of classical music is doing a really good job of, of diffusion in, uh -huh. in, in terms of in using youtube i mean it's, yeah. it's a great really great tool interesting yeah, yeah. and you i'm sure your kids are always on youtube right no, <laughs> no 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 i don't my, let them my niece is like always really? on something yeah Oh no! <laughs> I'll, tell her, I'll tell it's her. It's gonna you happen. Get off of it. Okay, but it's gonna happen soon. <laughs> I'm kind of holding it. And you know, I just thought about it. Like I should have introduced you as Golden Globe winner, ah, Gael. Okay. <laughs> Is that like now a requirement? Whenever someone, uh, <laughs> whatever my 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 kids talk to me, yes. You're like yes, Golden Globe <laughs> yes, winner, exactly. Dad. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. How was that? Like I, I think like. I think you said afterwards that it felt like unexpected. I think everyone thought Jeffrey was going to win, and it was mm -hmm. such a nice moment. Like the the, the look on your face <laughs> up there, like total glee. Talk about that. And I was very surprised. Yeah. I was really very surprised. I didn't expect it at all. I mean, it's uh, I didn't expect the nomination, and then mm -hmm. never expected the, to win. I mean, no, never, mm -hmm. never, never expected. I, I I guess I guess at that moment, um, right before they say your name or right before you get the phone call or something, uh, you really I mean, I felt I was just you know myself mm -hmm. in a way and 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 then all of a sudden when you hear your name and being mentioned and uh, and you go what okay wow this is this is great and and what's what's really fantastic and maybe kind of metaphysical about this is that. I mean, life goes on in the same way. I mean, the next day I had to be doing pancakes for my kids with the same <laughs> kind of rigor and, and yeah. kind of like the, with no mercy, you know. Uh, but uh, but at the same time, there is a life that's kind of becoming bigger, which has to do with a character and with a series. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's fantastic. I mean, all of a sudden, a fictionary life mm -hmm. has bigger wings, you know, and, and Rodrigo is a little bit more more... I don't know, lives a little bit more, you know, and, and I like that. I like that. I How like can that he that live happens. more than he already does? <laughs> yeah. He does whatever he wants. Yeah, I think that's why I like the character, yeah. yeah, because, yeah, you can get away with anything. Yeah. Well, let's talk about this season. Um, <laughs> you know, he, he is a very sort of chaotic type of personality, and a lot was going on around him this season. There was the strike uh, yeah. talks, and, and he went... Um, his, his uh, sort of mentor wanted him to fill in for him uh, in Mexico and all these things were going on, the hearing problem. Talk a little bit about what we saw with yeah. him this season. Well, it's actually quite relevant. I mean, the whole, the, the whole kind of uh, uh, strike mm -hmm. issue, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it's something that's happening a lot in, in different orchestras all over the world. Uh, most prominently right now, there is a, there is a big uh, issue with, um, with the English National Opera, for example. And um, and it's 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 quite I mean it's quite curious that the chorus mm -hmm. the chorus was the the part that kind of decided not to go to work yeah you know? yeah so what happens without the chorus you know right. there is something I, I don't know we're, we're when when those things fall into the real world mm -hmm. all of a sudden I mean music in a way can be easily easily put out from that real world into something that lives forever and then doesn't, I mean, just needs a listener and a player, you know, and that's all that, that's needed. It doesn't need a contract, doesn't need a kind of, a, you know, a, um, a, an infrastructure, okay? So that, that's the dichotomy that the characters are on. In a way, they love what they do, uh, but at the same time, it's true that they cannot sustain themselves and they want, you know, they don't want to be pushed over. They, they want to be respected in a way and, and, and treated as a, as, a, as a proper job, you know. And so, I, I, I mean, it's, a, it's an interesting pathway and I don't know where the, where the series is going to go now. Uh, and even if I did, I think I would still lie about it. <laughs> yes, I would You're not, not say. You're not going to tell us. I'm not going to say anything, but I really don't know. <laughs> that's, the, that's the big difference. I really have no idea. No where, idea. Where it's gonna, no, I have no idea where it's going to go. Uh, but I think um, something will happen. I mean, last we heard, Rodrigo lost his job, so, and he kind of signed a non-competitive. Non-compete for like uh, exactly. almost three years. For almost three years, which he <laughs> tried to 2. negotiate. 2.9. <laughs> I was like, like, come on, you could do better than that. Uh, he's not a very good <laughs> negotiator. Not, not good. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, not good at all with that. No. Um, how about what was your reaction when you were told um, you were going to be conducting at the Hollywood Bowl oh, alongside yeah. Gustavo? We saw this in the first episode. Um, I think if it would have come from somebody else, 
because it, it was actually Gustavo who, who kind of proposed. Oh, and he was on the phone and he said, we want you to, to you know, hey, yeah. you know, we were talking in Spanish, uh -huh. of course. Uh, and he said, hey, man, hey, yeah, come, come down, and, you know, and you do the, the, um, the Figaro's weddings, you know, and, and the, the marriage of Figaro, yeah, sorry. Yeah, the marriage and, and of Figaro. Uh, okay, oh, yeah, okay, if, I mean, it's only him who can, uh, who I can, uh, I mean, it was, the pressure was on, mm -hmm. of course, but at the same time, uh, How could you pass it up? If he says, yeah, you can do it. Yeah. I go, okay, well, <laughs> if you say so, but honestly, I think you're, I mean, you're very brilliant, but I think you're really making the worst mistake <laughs> in your life, you know? I mean, I what? think he really just wanted to be on the show, too. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time. At the same time. But I, I'm so grateful with him, and I, I really, I mean, appreciate everything he's done and, and all the help that he's given me and, and given to the show as well, and, and the, the LA Philharmonic as well. They've been really, really helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, uh, I know that for a fact that uh, Rodrigo wouldn't exist without Gustavo. I mean, it's uh, he he gave the chance to to incorporate um, this flamboyant young kind of. Uh, he's actually younger than me, <laughs> uh, but but you know, like yeah. uh, uh, young kind of. I don't know. Uh, this through the force, you know, this yeah. this character that comes and disrupts the whole biosphere, you know, and he can he can do that, and uh, and that's why Rodrigo exists. I mean, and that's why we can go to such kind of levels with Rodrigo as well because he he's a genius. I mean, he's a person that uh, that I don't know. He's fantastic. He it's incredible what what people that that live with music that, life, that grow yeah. with music, uh -huh. how they think, you know, how they. Yeah, operate. I have a friend who says he sees colors when he hears music. Like he yeah. sees it play out with colors. It's very interesting. Absolutely, yeah. no, yeah. yeah, they hear like a uh, different it's, construction yeah. and different kind of architecture and stuff. But at the same time, life again is not. Mm -hmm. You know, there is no. You, you cannot really. There's no pentagram that you can right. follow. I mean, right. there's no scales. You, you, you're inventing that throughout life, and uh, I mean, and on your deathbed, you're thinking, ah, now, <laughs> now, <laughs> now, I now, can. Yeah. now we could, we could, re we, we could like perform. Yeah. <laughs> Before it was just a rehearsal. Now let's just. <laughs> but I was there that night, and it was like really right. cool to see. Like, how was it for you, sort of being out there with such a big audience there? Um, it was nerve wracking. I yeah. mean, it was, yeah. I did you do I a think, prayer before you went on stage. I did everything. Yeah. I, I held on to everything I could. Yes, of course. I mean, I, I, oof, I mean, I, 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 even, I can't even remember what I did. But, but I remember just for like, for like full thirty minutes, I was thinking, what am I doing? What is this? What is this? What is this? Why? 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 No, yeah, no, no. Because, <laughs> yeah, no. Because it's, a, it's, it was like, okay, saving the distances in a way, but. At the same time, I mean, I'm pretending to, you know, yeah. but it's like, okay, a ca uh, some actor is going to play Michael Jordan or a yeah. really great, and all of a sudden they invite him to play in a real <laughs> match yeah. and and has to kind of like, yeah. you know, suddenly be that. And uh -huh. you're like, I mean, I mean, what's nice about it is that it goes hand in hand with this kind of really fantasy that, that mm -hmm. maybe as a kid I had or, or, or I, I, I think I once dreamt uh, that... Uh, uh, okay, if I if I'm a method actor, then then if I'm supposed to to you know to to play Messi, you know I, I can play like Maradona or Messi, you know I can play football like Maradona. So I'll just incorporate the acting techniques to my football game, mm. and therefore I'll be so much better. Right. Of course, it doesn't work. <laughs> I wish it worked but, like that. But yeah. but but again, the 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 yeah, whole idea yeah. kind of makes yeah. it yeah. going. But of course, it, I knew that this was just uh, I mean. Fortunately, it's Rodrigo, and Rodrigo is so full of confidence. He is. At yeah. the same time, it's like whatever mistake he, whatever mistake Miguel did as as uh, mm -hmm. conducting, Rodrigo goes like I thought it was thought of. Uh -huh. You know, Rodrigo yeah. can can kind of solve it, solve and, it and say like, yeah, it's part of the whole thing. I mean, I, <laughs> have you gotten better at like being in front and doing the conducting? Like, did he give you tips, Gustavo? Yes. What did he say? <laughs> he said, just go there and do it. And I'm like, <laughs> just go there and do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he, he gave me the the he definitely. Did he say like how to hold the baton? Did he give you? Tips Absolutely on no. It? He gave me like certain things, but but uh, when I say he just told me just go there and do it. Feel it. It had to. I mean, it was like the best advice as well. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like, come on, do you know? You, you, mm -hmm. At the end of the day, this is like 
I mean, we all know you're pretending. <laughs> yeah. We all support you. Right. You know, we all wanna want you to win in a way. Like, let's just. And it's a comedy as well. Thank God. Yeah. I mean, because if this was serious, then it would be like okay, yeah. it would be involuntary comedy, and that's the worst. <laughs> that's the worst. But uh, but in this case, yeah. I mean, it's comedy, and and and, and I love I love being up there. I mean, there there is. I think the best thing I, I heard when, when coming down, I mean, apart from all the congratulations of everybody and the mm -hmm. mezcales that I downed, like, <laughs> immediately, very quickly, was um, uh, there was a, a ma many fans that wait outside, no? Outside yeah. of, the, of the Hollywood Bowl, and, and, and one of them was, was Mexican, and, and he was like, hey, Gael, 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 man, great, you, you were just like Cantinflas. I and love that. And, and, yeah, and I remember a Cantinflas movie where he actually goes he up did. and he like accidentally runs into a kind of like I mean it's a it's a kind of a expected mm -hmm. sketch of a comedian, no? To run into a like an yeah, operation yeah. room and start to operate, start you know, doing or like whatever. It, yeah. Okay, so the, the same in, in this That's case. I mean, cool. Cantinflas ran into a into an orchestra and started Just to do it. Yeah, and so yeah. He, whenever he shaked his bum <laughs> in like this, the the the, the drum would like. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a bit so like funny. that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you find that like you need? Do you need to stretch before doing all of it? Like, do your arms ever hurt? Because it's a lot of the movement. Next day, yes, the yes. next day I'm like, like if I was boxing or something, you know, <laughs> like, I'm completely yeah, completely tense um, here yeah. And, and because of, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I have to, I have to, I forget always, but I have to. You yes. have to. I mean, uh, whenever I, whenever we're doing a piece, I prepare it mm -hmm. together with the teacher and and. Uh, with uh, with mentors, with uh, friends, mm -hmm. and and with a lot of videos as well. I mean, and, and and just feeling it, you know, and incorporating it because at the end of the day, also there is no like straight way of conducting. Right. I mean, it is about feeling, getting yeah. your your own way of of expression, you know, in in a sense. Uh, yet at the same time, you cannot be dancing, mm -hmm. uh, but me as a as a very kind of you know it's, it's beyond i mean like beyond amateur level mm -hmm. <laughs> where i'm at mm -hmm. i cannot uh, i cannot help it but sometimes dance right. for the music you know <laughs> yeah exactly because it's like you you get but it, it is not definitely not are dancing you, are you always breaking the scene then I'm do you find your do you find dancing? yourself dancing yeah, yeah sometimes yes 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 and, that, and there, there's a point where I'm, i find myself just going to and then we go like okay let's do it again please because let's just Remember that it's not dancing. That I, I have to enjoy myself, but I cannot yeah. let myself enjoy too much. You know, I have to like incorporate it into some other way. But fortunately, there's always there uh, great, great teachers that, mm -hmm. that give me like certain hints and certain pieces of, you know, like okay, it's great that you do this, but as long as you keep on with the tempo or like, or yeah. that you recover the tempo and then you come back to it, that's good. You know, so. I, I, speaking of dancing, I'm sad that we're sort of locked in here with our mics because I saw you teach James Corden how to salsa. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, not that, yeah. there. Yeah, if that was. If we had mics that were handheld, I would make you do that with oh me. Oh, my God. Okay, that okay. That was really good. But uh, you think so, but it was very dangerous also. Why? Well, because because James just went for it. And, and <laughs> there was a point where when he. you guys did the dip. Yeah, exactly. He did the dip, and he was like, and he was like, oh, my God, James, you're going to, like, like break your neck like and I, I you know to hold James you know yeah I mean no 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 like it's, it's, it's not him it's me that I'm that I'm very weak no. that I'm very weak How about, I mean the the show uh filmed uh a few episodes in Mexico what was that like to sort of bring it there and to show a part of of Mexico City that we maybe don't often see on oh, the it was TV so screen. much fun yeah. it was so much fun as well because it was um, uh, fortunately with the guys, with all the team from from Mozart in the Jungle. I mean, they they asked me like who to hire mm -hmm. and who to go to, and and oh, so it was done with friends, you know. And it was done with uh, with uh, the production team were people that I've worked with before, uh, and it was just fantastic to to be around, you know, to be doing this show there with all the, you know, the all the, the f like the the rhythm we have going already. Mm -hmm. And, and to incorporate it into into this kind of mythology and, right. and uh, it was it was really fun and, and to go to the Postland and shoot there, they loved it as well. They loved it. And, and in Mexico City, it's just I mean, it's, we only shot one episode there, but you can shoot like <laughs> I don't know many series <laughs> there. It's just so fantastic. I want to return to Babalita because she was so cute. Oh yeah 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 in the Postland mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yeah, great town, beautiful. The Poslan as well is beautiful. I haven't beautiful. been there, yeah. It's incredible. It's just like right outside right Mexico okay. City, yeah. Well, we're going to take a question from Twitter. Um, oh, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, um, but, it, but that's, that can be very, <laughs> that can be... I think it's good. Yeah, okay. We, we'll ask you <laughs> All right. How does the political inspire your personal life? In, or in and outside of your art. Ah, okay. Uh, you're, very, you're outspoken on politics and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, well um, yes, I, I feel very, um, yes, influenced by, by the politics of, of it all. But, uh, but I, I must say that in a way I don't see a separation, you know, like I don't see a, a division of, of of my daily life with uh, with uh, with the politics because politics is at play with everything mm -hmm. I I kind of end up doing or uh, and I think maybe it has to do with being born in Mexico as well that uh, being born into a family that was I don't know conscious about that in a way but at the same time uh, the context I grew in I, I kind of I don't know made me made me feel it is a it is a driving force definitely uh -huh. for me I mean because because it gives me something to grab onto mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and to and I think at the same time there is a lot of uh, there is a, a I mean to, to put it into very perhaps bad phrase but um, but I think there is a an interesting discomfort that goes on and, and a very joyful discomfort as mm -hmm. well that goes on with trying to fight for the common good mm -hmm. you know I think it uh, it feeds me and, and I, I it, it keeps me going mm -hmm. in a way and it questions my my beliefs my my certainties my question makes me question everything as well and uh, makes me learn makes me curious and then um, and it makes me feel that everything is more worthwhile mm -hmm. so yeah I wanna I feel I feel it, it's it's very involved into whatever I do mm -hmm. yeah. There's a lot going on in the U.S. politics-wise. I'm sure you're aware. <laughs> yeah, I've yeah. heard you speak on it. <laughs> um, I, you guys start production on season three in June. You said. Uh, yes, June. exactly. Yeah. Are you I ready to go June. back in? Oh yeah, I love this show. You ready for your hairpiece thing? I'm re so ready, <laughs> so ready, and I actually wanna. I don't know. I wanna do something crazy for this time. I mean, I'm. I'm, I don't have any like commitment afterwards that I have to have the hair this or that way. So maybe oh. Rodrigo's gonna go into some kind of I maybe, don't know, he'll have to go in a Hare Krishna if he's, kind yeah. of situation, maybe. Uh -huh. Or I mean, or, or maybe that's to Rodrigo. So maybe we should do something <laughs> quite like the opposite, the opposite. You know, like I don't know, I don't know. But but definitely, I'm looking forward because it's like a repertoire company. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, like we we arrive there and and we we are faced with stuff to do. And the whole team, which is a great team as well, it's it's really lovely. I mean, all the actors, I mean, really, really joyful and nice people. Well, and the viewers want something to, like, happen with Haley or Hailey, as yeah. Rodrigo says. But, um, I know, so right? So we're waiting for that, but she left with someone else. Right? So how how does Rodrigo deal with that? I, I mean, don't I, know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I also want something to happen, but she's just acting like, you know, like <laughs> she's just behaving. Whatever. I don't know. She's like... But but she's she's gonna learn I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she's gonna well. learn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's gonna learn that maybe what she was looking for was, was just right at the corner. Just yeah, the yeah, corner. exactly. <laughs> well, Gael, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very really much. Really appreciate it. Thank um, you so much. Thank you. Guys, you can keep tuning in to our contender chats here at latimes.com. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you you were great.